Hello! Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Welcome to the Thursday Night Football Review between the Parramatta Eels and the Melbourne Storm. Well, the Parramatta Eels got the win tonight. 16 points to 12. Congratulations to the Parramatta Eels supporters out there. Congratulations to Rugby League History, Entertain House, Luther King, all the Parramatta Eels fans out there that I know very well. Congratulations. They got the job done. They beat the Melbourne Storm. 16 points to 12, in a low-scoring grind, it was wet, it was slippery, it was sloppy, it was tough, physical. What a performance from Parramatta, what a fantastic win. Hope you guys are doing well on this Thursday night, it's currently 10 o'clock. The game ended about five minutes ago. Well, what a game, man. A great game of footy. Now, I know round one was good as well, but this is probably the best game of the year so far. It would probably go down in the top 10 best games of the year, but probably by the end of the year, I thought it was a great game of football, but... Let's, let's get into the game. Let's review the game. So the first 20 minutes of the game, it was tough. It was physical. A lot of really good defense on both sides. I thought Parramatta's edge defense really um, really showed up tonight. I thought they backed themselves really well. I thought they were quite good, at it, quite good there in defense of Parramatta. And I thought Melbourne, they were okay, but they were struggling a little bit. I thought Parramatta's forward pack was doing a good job. I thought they were very physical, and they were doing really well early on. And then in the 23rd minute, Dylan Brown puts up a kick. For Marcus Sevo, he out jumps George Jennings. He scores over in the corner there. Mitchell Moses converts the conversion. Parramatta leads 6 0. And everyone knows when you play Melbourne, if you get an early lead in front of Melbourne, Melbourne start to do things that they don't normally do. They start freaking out, they panic. And Parramatta did a great job there. And then um, in the 31st minute, Kama Kamefa was going for a try there, but he was just a little bit short. So no try to Kama Kamefa. And then, um, yeah, look, uh, right before half time there, Melbourne spread the ball to Jerome Hughes, and then he gave it on to Felice Cafusi, gave it to Remus Smith, and he beat up a check one on one, and he Madison missed a tackle as well. And um, Remus Smith scores for Melbourne, Pavan has a converted. By then, it's half time. Parramatta six, Melbourne six. It's a pretty even contest. Melbourne had, I think, six more sets than Parramatta in the first half, and they defended a lot more than Parramatta did. I thought Melbourne. They, were, they had a lot of possession. They were doing quite well on Parramatta. You know, the defense, it was holding up. Every play was trusting each other on the inside and the outside. I thought they were doing a really good job there. And then um, in the second half, the 45th minute, there was a little bit of tension early on. Feliz Cafusi with, an, with a, bit, a bit of an elbow to Ryan Madison over the top of Madison. Madison hits his neck pretty hard. Cafusi comes over with an elbow. It's a pretty dirty tackle. Slams Madison's head extremely hard. Madison goes off the field, doesn't return. And... Um, Felice Cafusi gets pulled on report. Madison goes for a HIA. And then um, the next 20 minutes or so, it's just back and forth. Physical, tough game. Defense was really good from both sides. Very physical game. Parramatta were on top. And then um, not, long, not long after that, in the 68th minute, Reed Money with a beautiful short ball to big Junior Paulo, big 110 kilo Junior Paulo. He crashes over for a try. And um, Moses converts the goal. Parramatta lead 12 points to 6. And I'm on my live stream, I'm thinking, this is game over. Parramatta have got this in the bag. It's game over. And then just when you think Parramatta have got this game in the bag in Melbourne, you think they're gone. They have always seem to, seem to come up with something in Melbourne they do. The 74th minute, Ryan Pappenhausen kicks the ball. It comes off Dylan Brown's leg. And Ricky Shays, Justin Olin picks it up. He scores for Melbourne. Uh, Pappenhausen converts the goal. He only just got it to. He almost missed the Pappenhausen. It's 12 all, and I'm thinking, wow, here we go. It might be a golden point shootout. It would have been tough, tough to kick a field goal tonight, considering how wet it was at Bankwest Stadium. And then an unbelievable moment, a clutch moment. Parramatta about 40 meters out. Mitchell Moses puts up a bomb. Michael Sebo comes through. He catches the ball before George Dennis gets to the ball. He grabs it and he runs over. He scores for the Eels. Parramatta win the game. There's two minutes to go. I can't believe it. Game over. Sevo scores a match winner. Moses misses a conversion. And then when you think Parramatta got the game in the bag, Munster kicks off short. Obercheck's offside. The ball bounces short. Obercheck touches it while he's offside. Melbourne penalty, and I'm thinking, oh no, here we go. Melbourne are going to steal another game. They're going to they're going to steal it. Parramatta are gone. And then Melbourne they do this razzle dazzle play, and then. Um, Munster gets the ball, tries to kick it, knock on for Munster, goes dead for seven tackles set. Parramatta hang on to win the game, 16 points to 12. 
What a fantastic game of rugby league. On a Thursday night, it was a cracking game of football. You know, there was a couple of really good players for Parramatta tonight. I thought Reid Marnie was absolutely outstanding. I thought Junior Paulo played well. I thought Mike Sivo was outstanding. I thought the halves of Parramatta weren't too bad. I thought Mitchell Moses had a pretty solid game. You know, I can imagine Craig Bellamy, he won't be happy about this. You know, I'm just looking at some of the stats here right now. Uh, Clint Gavison had a, bit, had a bit of an injury scare, but I believe he is all good. Ferguson played quite well. Marotta near Corey in the centres was a little bit of a surprise. He did a great job. Campbell Gillard, 170 metres for Parramatta tonight. Nathan Brown, 114. Off the bench for Parramatta. Um, Isaiah Papaliti, 70 metres off the bench. Oregon Kafusi wasn't too bad as well. For the Melbourne Storm, some of their good players tonight. Ron Pappenhausen, 246 metres. I thought he played well. Olam, and, Olam was good for the Melbourne Storm. Uh, Munster was okay. Did, didn't get enough service, I thought. I thought Jerome Hughes was a bit poor for Melbourne. His kicking game was a bit off, in my opinion. Christian Wells and Nelson, Nelson Sol Solomona were quite good for the Melbourne Storm. Uh, for the bench from Melbourne, I thought Kama Kamifa and Chris Lewis were really good. Austin Smith wasn't too bad as well. I uh, thought Brown Smith was a bit off as well for Melbourne tonight as well. George Jennings is probably the worst player on the field for the whole game. You know what? A fantastic performance of Parramatta. A great win for them. Congratulations on the win, Parramatta. Well deserved. And um, as for Melbourne, they'll go back. They'll go back to the to the drawing board. And you know, a good win for the Eels. A very brave, gutsy win for the Eels. They deserve to win the game tonight. They were the better side, in my opinion. You know, they completed about eighty eight percent. So. You know, against Melbourne, if you throw the ball around and you complete your sets and you just stay calm, you can beat Melbourne. You know, if you get in front of Melbourne, they don't like coming from behind. Everyone knows that. So, well done to the Paramount Eels on a great win. Now, my top three players on ground tonight. Number three is going to go to Morata Niakore. I thought it was fantastic. Number two is going to go to Mike Sivo. I thought he was great. And number one, my man of the match, it's going to go to Reid Marnie. Thought it was fantastic for the Paramount Eels tonight. Defended well, looked, looked, looked very dangerous with the football as well. So Reid Marnie is my man of the match. Well done to Parramatta on a great win. Fantastic game. I'll probably give the game like an 8 out of 10. It was a great game of 40. And um, Parramatta wins 16-12. And Reid Marnie, in my opinion, was best on ground. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up the Thursday Night Football Review. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching i will be attending the titans broncos game tomorrow so if you get the game come find me come say hello and um yeah thanks for watching this this review guys and i'll see you guys in the next one well done to Parramatta.